let's start by thinking a little bit about yesterday. We want to reflect back. What steps of the engineering process, design process, did we use yesterday? Matthew. Yeah, we did the ask and imagine yesterday. We're going to move on and we're going to continue thinking about asking and we're going to continue thinking about imagining. With this lesson, we're going to be going off of this question. This is kind of our key question to be thinking about throughout the day today. So who wants to read it? How do thickness of an atmosphere in the design of a parachute affect the speed of a falling parachute? Okay. Let's just hear a few ideas. How do you think, let's just go with the first part. How does thickness of an atmosphere affect a falling parachute? Justin. It just, um, it just makes the parachute float in space because the atmosphere is not like pushing it down. It's just like going everywhere. It's not pushing it down. Are you talking about like if it was on the moon where there's no atmosphere? It would just kind of it would just kind of go off into space. Okay, so on Earth, we have an atmosphere, and on other planets, there's a thicker or thinner atmosphere from what we saw. Venus has a much thicker atmosphere than Earth. If we were to drop a parachute down on Venus, would it go slower or would it go quicker than on Earth? Abdi, what are you saying? Slow. It's gonna drop slower, because it's that thicker. There's more particles for it to push out of the way, right? Let's do this. We're gonna go and we're gonna kind of look at another example of the thickness and thin atmospheres, okay? And how things might fall in that. So I want you to quietly push in your chairs and then go sit on the rug. I have two different jars, okay? And what do you notice about the jars? What's in them? And what do you notice, Logan? One's empty and one um, has water in it. Okay, one has water in it. Is this one empty though? No. No, because what's in it? Air. Air is in it. That's a really good thing to keep thinking about. So there are particles that are floating around in there, okay? And so which one right now do you think is going to be our thinner atmosphere? The one with the air in it. The, the, the one with the air, the one without the water. Why do you think that? Because, like you said, um, if we drop a parachute uh, uh, over here, since this was filled with air, it kind of go faster, like it's thinner or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know really how to explain it. Okay, so you think that if something were to drop in here, it would go faster than if it was to drop in here? Yeah. Okay, predict which one's going to hit first. The air. Okay, ready? Count down for me. Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> which one fell first? The air. Or, well, not first, but which one got down to the bottom first? The, the one in the air, okay? How did mom, I should say, in the book, test out her technologies? When she was testing things out, she said she can't actually go up in space to these planets, to the different planets, and she was just a, she's an engineer on Earth, so she's working with people, but she couldn't go there. So what did she do? Kira? Like, she was using, like, the water for the thicker atmospheres, maybe. Why do you think it's important to make a model? Because you can't, if you don't, it, it might not work when you need it. Yeah, would you want to be the person that goes up to the moon for the first time and they haven't ever tested it or practiced it in model situations like this? And they're like, okay, this is the first time we've done it, go and practice. No. 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 So it's really important because they need to see if it'll work. From what we've just talked about and with the golf balls and with Sydney's example, parachutes will fall more slowly in what kind of atmosphere? Logan? Does everybody agree with Logan? Yeah. That it's going to yeah. be a thicker? Yeah. Parachutes are going to fall more quickly in a what type of atmosphere? Thinner. Okay. What step in our engineering design process are we using when we're doing all of this? Ask. Yeah. Are we asking a lot of questions? Yeah. Yeah, we're asking questions and then we're answering those questions with practicing different things, okay? The challenge that I'm going to give you today is that you are going to be aerospace engineers just like my in this story and you are going to be developing a parachute that they need to include on a spacecraft. We can't make a real one, like an actual one because we don't have enough room in here, right? So we're going to have to make a what? A model. We're going to have to make a model and we're going to have to go through our steps of the engineering design process, which the first one is asking questions and then once you do that you're going to 
imagine, okay? And then after that part, you're going to plan. And then after that part, you're going to create. And then the last thing you're going to improve, because you're going to create and you're going to try it out. And then if it, we're going to improve on it. So what is your mission, Matt? To build a paracadus pad that will help us land in any planet that we need, thicker or thinner. Well, especially a what? What did I say? Especially what kind of atmosphere? Thin. A thinner atmosphere. But you're going to be building a, para a parachute. There's three key things that we're going to be thinking about then today. Canopy materials. What is it made out of? That's one of our variables that we're going to test. So we have the three main parts, our canopy, our suspension line, and our load. You're going to be doing about three trials. So if you didn't get to see canopy size because you did canopy material, you're going to have seen it in process. In the back, we're going to go through it, and then you'll, we'll be able to kind of differentiate and talk about wh how these things affect it. How did it matter? Did it make it go faster? Did it make it go slower? Your canopy yeah. to the end of this, you want that to be about That's good seven enough. That's good inches. enough. Okay. Yeah. And then so measure, I would, you know, if you want to measure them out and see. Yeah, if you hold it like that, mm -hmm. look at that one's shorter. Well, are you holding it at a different, is it at an angle so it's going up? So how can you test it to check and see for sure? What could you use? Yep, use a ruler. And actually, I, I'm going to cut. Logan, wait, no, let me make the crease. This one right there. Then take it Tape it. Yeah. As we're dropping these, we want to be at about the same height. And do you think as I'm dropping, am I going to have the canopy lined up with this part here? It's about seven feet. Or am I going to have the load lined up with that part? If I have the canopy lined up here, what about the people with suspension line differences? The load's going to be what? The loads are going to be different, and we want the loads all to be at the same height. So what do you think I'm going to line up with the top of this? The load. All right. So we'll do three trials. Look at what they've got. So what material does Ava have? Coffee filter. What material does Justin have? Plastic. Plastic? Okay. And what material does Ty have? Fabric. So this is like a sheer fabric. Okay. So count down. Oh, that one's twisted again. Two, one, um. That's okay. All right, let's do two trials of the canopy size. Which one do you think will drop first? The smaller. The smaller, why? <laughs> why? Because it's got less weight. Okay. Three, two, one, one, drop. So which one fell first? Move back. Two, one, one drop. Which one the fell smaller. fastest? The, the smaller. Which one fell the slowest? Biggie. The biggest. Okay. Three, two, one, last drop. We're going to go through this. We're going to talk about what we observed. We're going to reflect quickly on it. The thick atmosphere is where it falls more slowly because there's more particles. So do you think, ideally, the canopy size, the bigger one fell more slowly? or the shorter one? Large. You think the large? What do you think, Logan? Uh, the, large. the large. And why do you think that is? It went back to, I think, Owen or Caleb said it. Um, the large, um, the canopy can hold more in, so that will make it fall more slowly. But the small one doesn't have enough air, um, like the large, it would just quickly go down. Not, not get them, you know, okay, so that surface area, of the of the canopy had a big different had a big impact on it so there was more more resistance or more drag because it had more surface to go to, for for the air to be captured under right so we so far to summarize have thicker atmospheres larger canopies plastic or less holes in the material make it fall slower so look at that information that you have there right now and keep that in mind because tomorrow now we've played around with materials and all this tomorrow you're going to be just given some materials and then you have to pick and choose as a group and you actually are going to design a parachute too. You're going to draw out your designs individually, then you're going to collaborate with the team and decide which designs and pieces you want to go with. 
And then you're going to create them. And you're going to have other options, too, besides just the three types of material that we picked today. Um, in lesson three, when they collected data to use for the next lesson, that when they were actually creating their parachutes, um, I think getting the kids hands on and having them develop them um, and then sharing the data they collected, because each group did a different variable or a different factor. Um, so one group tested canopy size, one group tested canopy material, and one group tested suspension line. Um, and so I think that them sharing their ideas and um, was really useful because they had to they had to give an explanation or they had to be able to um, help the other groups out with it. Um, I think the way that I helped with it was making a lot of connections the next day back and forth between between what they had learned. I think that's one of the most important things is just to keep referencing back to what they did and make those connections. Mm -hmm.